He weighs 65 kilos. Oh, right. I knew. He weighs 40 Yeah. We want him in here. Oh, my God. coming. I love it. I've got... Yeah, he's super strong, yes. Thank you for bringing him in. He's beautiful. Yeah, so this is this is Buckets. Um, he's one year old. Wow. Um, he's one. Yeah, and uh, I just thought you'd like him. Oh my god, I love him. All right, well, he can stay anywhere. We try and can pose an interview. Can I sit down here? Sure, you think, sure can. Uh, to pick up the audio? I'll try. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, there you go. I thought you'd enjoy you that. so lucky. He's a great dog, huh? Oh my God. Well, now you've got buckets at your feet. He's so cute. I thought you might like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my God. There you go. He looks like the dog from Harry Potter, like Fluffy the Three-Headed Dog. Oh, wow, the big the one. big... Like, Not even Hagrid's dog, like the bigger one from the first movie. Yeah, the bigger one from the first... Yeah. Yeah. Fluffy, you got it right. Um, all right, well, Ariana Grande is in studio, so is my dog Buckets, and so is a whole bunch of other people and causing dog, chaos. you mean literally ho- racehorse. <laughs> literally. He's not small, I'll give you that. Um, oh, my God. We'll, we'll chuck the video up online as well so you can have this memory of my dog forever. I love it so much. Uh, we've uh, put out a hashtag, uh, Ariana Grande on Bump Show, so we've got a whole bunch of your beautiful fans who have got a lot of questions for you. Okay, cool. Um, from O Snap, it's Cameron. Will you be bringing your tour here next year? I know that guy. Yeah. Yeah, I recognize his name. Um, I will be. I will be coming here on tour. Great. So um, I'm very excited. Who would you like to support you? I have no idea. Yeah, I that's... haven't even gotten that far yet, but I'm very, very excited. I mean, people would think Iggy because obviously she's Australian. But oh, duh. Yeah, obviously that would be so much fun. That'd be amazing. Um, from at Harry N Grande, uh, can you give us your best Australian accent? Oi, good eye. Not bad. Good eye, mate. Good eye, mate. That's all right. Um, from at Cassidy Harvey XO, what was your favourite song on the album to write? Um, I mean, I guess Problem. Yeah? Yeah, that I that I wrote on, I think, would be Problem. And that was a big turning point for your sound as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, listening back to old songs as well, you've, you've always got the ballads, but this was brand new. And when we first heard it, we were like, wow, this is a, a new sound for you. And it, we loved it. Well, thank you. Um, was it hard to make that transition through that sound? Um, it was um, it was a risk for sure. So I was kind of nervous to take it, but it was a really fun one. Yeah? Yeah. I'm, I love your dog so much. Well, he loves you. He's... Uh... This is all I can think about. <laughs> You there, yeah. I'll pop up for the next answer. You've got it. All right. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just start uh, ask questions. Um, how many songs have you got that we haven't heard yet? Because usually with artists, they'll make 30 songs and then 12 or 13 make the track with the album. Um, a lot, actually. Yeah? A surprising amount. I think um, there are there are still like, um, I guess like 30 or 40 that y'all wow. haven't heard. Like from like forever, like Throughout the years, yeah. I guess, throughout the last couple of years, two is years. Is it hard, because writing a song is so personal, is it hard to separate yourself from a song when it doesn't make the album or to let it go to somebody else? No, if you don't like it, it's quite easy to say goodbye. Yeah, just light <laughs> it on fire. <laughs> I know when I don't like a song, I definitely like let go of it quite easily. Well, if you've got so many tracks, will there be like a part two of your album, My Everything and Everything Else? No, <laughs> My Everything and Everything Else. No, I think... Um, I think that the next album, we can um, maybe put some of them on there. Okay. If the, if we haven't beaten them out by then. Okay. Which I, I usually like to start from scratch. Yeah? But if there's anything that I'm still like, oh, that was a good one, I should revisit that. Some artists like I'll to leak back. out songs as well. Yeah, I do that as well. Yeah? Like If my fans like find, will hear a little bit of something or about a song and they want me to give it to them, then I'll give it to them for free. Now, have you got any free time in Australia while you're here? I mean, you know you're literally on a plane and out I again. I know. It's been really packed, but I did get to see... Um, uh, I did get to go on a little bit of a tour. Yeah. So that was really fun. And um, I've our show is really the core of your fans. So I see a lot of them on Twitter. And I managed to see last night during the show that you've been letting people secretly into your hotel to do little <laughs> meet and greets. Yeah, I have. That's super sweet. And that's something that a lot of artists don't do. Well, I just felt like it's, um, it's like a nice organized way to meet my fans. You know, yeah. I don't want to like 
go outside and then cause a commotion and then be shut down when like police say, oh, you can't do this because you're blocking the street. That's happened to me too many times. So I feel like I would rather just do it in an organized fashion and just like have one on one time with them and get to say hi and thank you. Makes sense to us. Now, Five Seconds of Summer, uh, great friends of our show. They're going to be in, uh, they're going to be chatting to us very soon. Have you got a question that we can pass forward to them? Have you ever got, have seen them online and Um, thought, hmm? Um, a question for them? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to ask them. Is there anything curious? Doesn't have to be about music. Doesn't one of them have colored hair? Yeah, Michael. Michael has colored hair. Uh, I guess ask him what color he plans on making his hair next. Done. I'm going to ask that question for you. Perfect. Um, Ariana Grande, your VMA's performance was phenomenal. Thank you. Um, and I'm sure you've spoken about that a lot. But what I know is, uh, what I want to know is about the goodie bag because I heard they're so sweet. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I got a goodie bag. Oh yeah, your mum's looking at you going, oh yeah, you did get one. I uh, was going to let you know in a couple of weeks. Wait, what happened? Oh, oh, yeah, we left. The, so it's we like were, sitting on your bed as a goodie bag? Yeah, I, we left the next day, so we didn't even get time to look at it. Because I like, heard rumors it's got like $10,000 worth of jewelry and stuff. That's going to be the best present That's ever to That's got to be a rumor. Well, can you make sure when you open it up, yes, you let me know? Yes, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll go home and I'll look and then I'll, I'll hit you up. How's Buckets going, by the way? Is he... He's a king. He's, he's all right? He's, he's perfect. So we got you. Uh, we got you a couple of things. We got your favorite cake, um, which is like chocolate with strawberry and sprinkles, apparently. Do you like, like, is that like a cake that you like? Um, no, I, I mean, uh, thank you. Yeah, well, we got one. And we've heard you like penguins as well. Oh. That's why we got you penguins that my oh, dog is now eating. <laughs> so that was your penguin. Thank um, you. We'll get you a non saliva one. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Thank no, you. of course. Um, who was from at uh, Nashton Boulevard? Who was the last person you texted? Um... Reaching for phone while down with dog. <laughs> Oh, he's okay? You can take him with you. Be a little excess baggage. But I'm happy. You want another dog? What do you got, four now? You want five? Uh, Buckets? Uh, the last person I received a text from was Scooter, my manager. Oh, yeah, Scooter Braun. Yeah. Absolute legend. Ariana Grande and Buckets. And Buckets! And my dog. Uh, thank you so much for coming in the Bump Studios. Thank you for having me. It's the best day of my life. This is my favorite interview ever. Aww. Thank you. I'd like to say it's because of me, but it's because of a 70-kilo dog sitting on the floor.